Good morning. Um, good day, mga kasol mat like a boss. So welcome to my channel. And for today, um, ang isa topic natin or ang pag-usapan natin or ang hindi discuss ko sa inyo ay may kinalaman sa rational algebraic expressions. Now in al in rational algebraic expressions, so lahat po yan ituturo ko. Unay natin yung simplifying RAE. We also have addition of RAE, subtraction of RAE multiplication and division of RAE. So lahat ng yan sa isang video. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing, then like this video, and yan, click the notification bell. So okay lang yan. Ayan, so basta mahalaga ma panood nyo. Okay. So shout out lang po dito sa mga taong to. Ayan. Ayan thank you sa inyong lahat. Ayan. So kung gusto mo ma-shout out, comment ka lang sa video na to. Okay, so let's start with Simplifying RAE. So, paano ba tayo mag-simplify ng RAE? Now, in simplifying RAE, it's like we're simplifying fractions but with a twist. Bakit with a twist? Kasi meron na tayong mga variable na isinisimplify din. Okay? So, simplifying RAE, the first example here is x raised to 7 over x raised to 5. Now, di ba in simplifying fractions, kapag meron tayong nakikita na same number sa taas at sa baba, we can cancel it out. Now, dito sa RAE, ang pag-simplify, halos similar lang din naman. So, ganito lang yung gagawin. Di ba yung x raised to 7 over x raised to 5 is our given? Ang x raised to 7, di ba ang, ang role ng exponent or yung 7, di ba it tells how many times the base, yung x, is multiplied by itself. So, since variable po siya, pwede siyang as x times x, 5, 6, 7. 7 siya na x and then, Yung x raised to 5 ay limang x. Ayan. Now, from here, pwede tayong mag-cancel out ng mga same terms. Ayan, yung mga variable na parehas. Ayan. So, hindi natin siya pwedeng i-cancel because they are both in the numerator. Ayan, itong dalawang x na natira. So, may dalawang x na natira sa taas, sa baba, wala na. Automatic, pag walang natira, 1. And since over 1 naman yan, so, ang final answer natin ay x squared. So, ganun lang po yun. Okay? So, the answer here is x raised to 2. Na kung mapapansin nyo, ganito lang yung gagawin. Ang shortcut po, para hindi na kayo magka-cancel out, ay subtract nyo lang yung exponent. So, 7 minus 5, the answer is 2. Yun na yung exponent ng bago. Now, the location of the answer depends on sino yung term na may mas mataas na exponent. Dito sa number 1, si x raised to 7 yung mataas, nasa taas siya. So, dun yung location ng answer. Okay? Yan. So, number 2, we have combination of numerical and variable. So dito, si 8 over 4, isisimplify muna natin siya. Unang question nyo, is 8 divisible by the denominator? If it, if yes, you can divide 8 by 4. If no, ibig sabihin, we are going to look for a number na pwedeng makadivide kay 8 and 4. Now, since si 8 ay divisible by, by 4, pwedeng i-divide natin both the numerator and denominator by 4. So, magiging 2 over 1 or 2 na lang siya. So, dito, lagay natin muna yung 2 over 1. Yan. And then, doon naman tayo sa x. Diba yung shortcut, um, the exponent of the variable x in the denominator is 1 kapag hindi nyo nakikitaan ng exponent. So, you just have to subtract it. 2 minus 1, the answer is 1. So, ibig sabihin, yung x natin is located in the numerator. Why? Because x squared is higher than x. Mas mataas yung exponent. The exponent is higher than the exponent in the denominator. So, sa numerator siya ilalagay. Okay? Para shortcut na. So, the final answer here is 2x. So, that's how you simplify it. Next. Number three, combination of different variables and um, numerical coefficients 2 and 3. So, una, syempre, yung 2 and 3. Is 2 divisible by 3? Question mark. No. Um, is there a number that can both divide 2 and 3 at the same time? Di ba? Wala. So, ibig sabihin, lagay na natin yung 2 over 3. And then, ganito yung gawin natin. Since si A at si A, di ba? Pag sinubtract natin yan, di ba? A raised, uh, raised to 1 minus 1, the answer is 0 or cancel na. So, cancel na yung A dito. Yung B, kung mapapansin nyo, B cubed plus B raised to 7. Sino ang mas mataas ang exponent? Si B na nasa ilalim. So, yung location ng B ay nasa baba. Tapos, subtract nyo lang 7 minus 3, the answer is 4. So, ibig sabihin, 4 yung exponent sa baba para shortcut na. Dito naman sa C, 
Sino mas mataas, si 3 or si 1? Diba si 3? So, ibig sabihin ng C na sa taas. And then, you subtract the exponents, 3 minus 1, the answer is 2. So, 2 yung exponent niya. So, the final answer here is 2C squared over 3B raised to 4. That's how you simplify it. Okay? Now, let's proceed to parang level 2. Ito, um, factorable. Yung mga teacher niya naman, hindi naman yung magbibigyan ng hindi na factor out or walang makakancel. Okay? So, let's start with number 4. Ganito lang yan. Di ba ang x squared minus 4, wala siyang linear term yung x. Di ba? Wala. So, gagawin nyo para malaman nyo to test if it's factorable, ganito yung gawin. Sulat ko lang ha. x squared minus 4 tapos x plus 2. Kunin nyo yung constant ng taas and then yung constant ng baba. I-divide nyo. Negative 4 divided by 2. The answer is negative 2, di ba? Tapos, i-plus nyo doon sa kung saan nyo dinivide. Ito, lalagyan ko ng arrow. So, 2, the answer is 0. Kung mapapansin nyo, walang linear term. ba So, check. 0 yung linear term. So, ibig sabihin, factorable. Ganun lang yon So, kung isisimplify natin dito, may x plus 2 sa baba, ibig sabihin, may x plus 2 din sa taas kasi yun yung makakancel natin. Now, paano natin kukunin yung isang factor? Kukunin natin po yan dito sa unang div nung nag-divide tayo. Ito yon negative 2. Kunin nyo lang yon x minus 2. Tapos, cancel out nyo na. Tira matitira ay x minus 2. So, that's how you simplify it. Shortcut. Number 5. Uh, try natin ha. Ang constant nito ay negative 5. Ito, positive 5. So, di ba ang gagawin natin? To test, we have negative 5 divided by 5. The answer is negative 1. Tapos, ipa-plus natin doon sa kung ano yung dinivide mo ito. So, plus 5. The answer is 4. Kung mapapansin nyo, ito pong 4 na to ay equal siya dito. Ayun nyo. Equal. Kapag equal yung dalawa, ibig sabihin check, factorable. Kuha. So, kung factorable po siya, kung x plus 5 dito sa baba, may x plus 5 din sa taas. Yun yung makakancel natin. Ngayon, ano yung isang factor? Diba, pupunta kayo ngayon doon sa kanina ito, yung unang binivide. So, negative 1. So, x minus one. So, cancel, cancel. The remaining expression is x minus 1. So, that's the final answer. So, that's how you simplify RAE. Next, let's proceed to addition of RAE. Now, in addition of RAE, meron tayong yung first natin na rule na kailang, set of rules na susundin natin is kapag same yung denominator. Now, look at the denominators. They are the same. So, kapag ganyan, ang gagawin lang natin is to simply add the numerators, 3 plus 1, over, copy the common denominator, 6x. Kopyahin lang. And then we have 4 over 6x. Tapos, simplify. Diba ang 4 over 6, they are both divisible by 2. So, magiging 2 over 3. So, ibig sabihin, pag na-simplify ito, 2 over 3, tapos yung x, copy na lang natin. So, that's the answer. Question number 2. The given is a over a plus b plus b over a plus b. You just simply add a plus b because the denominators are the same. Then copy the common denominators. And as you can see, a plus b and a plus b are the same. So cancel. The answer is 1. Kapag na-cancel out lahat, 1 na yung final answer. Next. Number 3, we have um, x over x squared minus 9 and 3 over x squared minus 9. So, magiging x plus 3 na to, and then copy x squared minus 9. Now, diba, since this is x squared na kita natin, pwede natin itest kung divisible ba by x plus 3. Kunin natin si negative 9, i-divide natin, ito yung constant, divided by the constant 3, the answer is negative 3, tapos ipa-plus natin dito, so the answer is 0, 3 plus Negative 3 plus 3, 0. Diba? 0. Wala siyang linear term. So, check tayo. So, ibig sabihin, pag sinimplify natin to, may x plus 3 sa taas, may x plus 3 din sa baba. Iyon yung makakancel. Ano ngayon yung isa pa? E di x minus 3. Dito yun o. No? Kinuha natin doon. So, cancel, cancel. May natirang 1 sa taas over x minus 3. Tandaan, kapag na-cancel out lahat ng numerator, you have to put 1. Okay? Pero kapag denominator ang lahat na-cancel, hindi mo na kailangan lagyan ng 1. Parang naging full number na siya. Okay? Now, let's now proceed with this example. As you can see, um, the denominators are different. So, 
pag ganyan yung case, ganito lang yung gawin, ha? Draw ka lang. Copy mo lang yung denominator parehas. Tapos pagdikitin mo. And then, yung 2 dito, kunin mo, tapos i-multiply mo doon sa ka-opposite niya. X minus 3. Yan. Tapos, gamit yung plus, kunin mo naman yung 3, ito yon Tapos, i-multiply mo doon sa ka-opposite niya. Yung ka-diagonal. X plus 2. Tapos, i-distribute natin. Itong dalawa, dito. So, magiging 2x minus 6 plus 3x plus 6 all over um, x plus 2 and x minus 3. Then, combine like terms, si 2x at si 3x pwede, si negative 6 at si positive 6. So, magiging 5x kasi 2 plus 3, 5. And then, 0 na to kasi negative 6 plus 6, 0. Then, all over x plus 2 over x, ano no, multiplied by x minus 3. So, that's how you answer it. Okay? Ganun lang. Next, let's proceed to subtraction of RAE. Subtraction, parang kapares lang siya ng addition. Yun nga lang, you have to subtract. Kasi nga, subtraction. So, the given here is 3 over 6x minus 1 over x. You just simply subtract 3 by 1 all over or over the same denominator. So, it will become 2 over 6x. Tapos, divide mo lang parehas, diba? 2 over 6, divisible siya parehas by 2. So, magiging 1 over 3. Copy lang natin yun, 1 over 3. Tapos, yung x. So, that's the answer. Next. Okay. With the given, uh, you just copy x squared minus 4 kasi parehas. And then, um, pag magsusubtract tayo ng ganito, ganito yung gagawin. 3x plus 1. And then, yung minus natin, hindi siya basta may magiging minus 2x. Magiging plus 1 pa siya. Shortcut, you just have to change the sign dito. So, magiging negative 2x plus 1 na yan. Diba, pag ganun yung rule ng integers, we have to change the sign of the, the second term. Ang tawag doon, minimum subtrahen. Okay? So, combine like terms, yung 3x tsaka negative 2x, tapos yung 1 plus 1. So, this will become x plus 2, diba? All over x squared minus 4. Now, let's see kung pwede siyang masimplify. Diba, x squared minus 4, kukunin natin yung constant, negative 4, divided by the constant of the other one, and the answer is negative 2, tapos ipa-plus natin doon sa 2, the answer is 0, check. 0 kasi yung gitna, diba? So, ibig sabihin, itong part na to, pwede pa siyang masimplify um, x plus 2. May x plus 2 din dito. Anong isa? x minus 2. Dito siya galing. So, cancel, cancel. The final answer is 1 over x minus 2. Okay? Next. Number 3. Different denominators. So, parang ganun lang din sa, sa addition kanina. Copy mo. x plus 2. x plus 4. Tapos, dito, yung x multiply mo dun sa x plus 4. Tapos, yung negative 3, ito naman, multiply mo sa kadiagonal niya na x plus 2. ba? Tapos, simplify, distribute natin to, tsaka ito, it will become x squared plus 4x minus 3x minus 6 all over x plus 2 and x plus 4. Then, um, combine like terms ito. So, magiging x squared plus x na lang kasi 4 minus 3, 1. Mm, minus 6 all over x plus 2 and x plus 4. Now, kung, kung mapapansin nyo, trinomial yung taas. Tingnan natin x plus 4. Tingnan natin kung divisible ba siya. Si negative 6 at si 4, hindi na yan matik. So, x na yung x plus 4. Bakit? Kasi hindi naman divisible si 6 by 4. Ito naman tayo sa 6 and 2, di ba? Negative 6 divided by 2, the answer is negative 3. Tapos, ipa-plus natin sa natira na 2. Ay, ito. Kasama din yung byte, so magiging negative 1. Kung mapapansin nyo, yung negative 1 ay iba dito. ba ito ay positive 1. So, magkaiba sila. Ibig sabihin, hindi divisible. Ngayon, kung hindi divisible, ibig sabihin, ito na yung final answer natin. Wala namang masama doon. Okay, kung hindi siya nasisimplify. Next, let's proceed to multiplication of RAE. Now, sa multiplication, dalawa lang yan. It's either tapat-tapat or um, you can do the, the cancellation. Para ba magka-cancel? Um, vertical lang at diagonal. So, for number one here, 
using cancellation, pwede natin i-cancel to kasi diagonal, parehas naman. Di ba ito ay dalawang A? So, may isang A, cancelin na natin yung isa. Then ito, yung 3 and 6, parehas siyang divisible by 3. So, magiging 2 na to, ito 1. So, ang remaining natin ay A sa taas over 2 sa baba. Now, pwede tayong mag-tapat-tapat um, ng multiply. Diretso, 2A squared over 6 times 3 over 2A. Tapat-tapat lang, multiply yan, 6A squared all over, ito naman ay 12A. Now, simplify 6 over 12, di ba magiging 1 over 2? Tapos, yung A and A, cancel yung isa, na matitirang A sa taas. So, A over 2 pa din yung final answer. So, kahit anong method, you can, you will arrive at a correct and only one answer. Okay, number two. Yan. Kapag ganito, we can apply cancellation. Now, kung mapapansin nyo, yung x plus 5, di ba, tingnan natin kung pwede siya dito. Di ba ito ay negative 15? Kunin natin yung constant, negative 15, divided by dito sa 3, ano no, sa 5, ito. 5, the answer is negative 3, tapos ipa-plus natin to plus 5, the answer is 2. So, kung mapapansin nyo, yung 2, parehas. Diba? So, ibig sabihin, pwede natin i-factor to ng x plus 5, kung ano yung kaparehas dito, tapos yung isa, yung dinibide mo, ito, x minus 3. Yan. Now, dito naman, kung mapapansin nyo, yung 3x plus 3, pwede siyang ma-divide parehas sa 3, diba? CMF. So, ilabas natin yung 3, x na lang may a1 dito, tapos dito 1, kasi 3 divided by 3, the answer is 1. Now, pwede na tayo mag-apply ng cancellation. Cancel, 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 cancel. So, the remaining expression here is x minus 3 all over or over x plus 1. So, that's the final answer. Now, let's proceed to division. So, division, um, it's almost the same with multiplication, but there's one rule or one step before applying the, uh, the steps in multiplication. Ano yun? Getting the reciprocal or reciprocate the divisor. So, ito yon yung divisor na tinatawag. Ngayon, sulat ko lang siya, magiging 2 over m minus 3 um, divided by 2m over 3m minus 9. So, ang gagawin nyo lang dito, copy mo lang yung una, tapos you change division to multiplication and then reciprocate yung divisor. So, kaya pinagpalit ko ng pwesto. Ito. And then, pwede tayo mag-apply ng cancellation. So, pwede nating makancel yung 2 dito. Yung 3, hindi mo pwedeng cancelin kasi binomial yan. Okay, bawal yon. So, check natin kung divisible. Kung mapapansin nyo, si 3 at saka si 9, pwede siya by 3, di ba? So, pwede nating ilabas yung 3 dito. May iwan si M sa loob. Tapos, dito, 3 na lang. Kasi 3, 9 divided by 3, the answer is 3. So, nakakita tayo ng pwede pang makancel yung M minus 3. Ang remaining na lang natin sa taas ay 3 over m. M to ha. Yan. So, 3 over m na lang. Diba ganun siya kasimple? And number 2. Yan. So, x minus 4 over the trinomial divided by 1 over x minus 5. Um, I-reciprocate na natin. So, dito ko lang siya isusulat. x minus 4 all over x squared minus 2x minus 8 multiplied by the reciprocal of the divisor over 1. And then, check natin, si 8 ba divisible by 5? No. So, hindi siya factorable. I mean, hindi siya divisible by x minus 5. Tignan natin siya by 4. Negative 8 divided by negative 4 is equal to positive 2. Then, i-plus natin yung negative 4. The answer is negative 2. Negative 2 ba to? Check. Ibig sabihin, pwede. Now, magiging x minus 4 over ito, isang x minus 4, tapos kunin natin to Magiging x plus 2. Yan. Times x minus 5. Over 1, cancel natin yung parehas. So, natira na lang ay x minus 5 over x plus 2. So, that's the final answer. So, that's how you um, apply or do the operations on RAE and also by simplifying. So, thank you for listening. So, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Okay. Thank you.